So it looks like Jay is running away to Canada, but we chose not to take the girl with us. We're going to drop her off, and I think that's the best thing. That's what I would do because you don't want to be getting other people messed up in your, sorry, mixed up in your your stuff you've caused. It ain't right, baby. I'm dying to see how it ends. I want to, I want to know how where she fits into it. Like I know it's gonna be like what she thinks. <laughs> because her dad and her mom survived, we got them through it. She's probably terrified of Jay. Yeah, she's got some trauma there. Shit! Are you okay? I beat my record. I nearly died. <laughs> I beat my record. Yeah, I'm just. I live at the bottom of this pool. I'm not alive, but I'm fucking world record. 2012, Missouri. I wonder if she's on antidepressants. Anti Forget something? Hmm? <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you in the undergraduate journalism program? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, yeah. I haven't been coming to lectures much. Mm. Not really feeling it. Oh. Right. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm going to get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? What we say? Sense of control. Challenge myself. It's nothing. Just beating the clock. You don't want to just try out for the swim team or something? I don't do teams. I should be getting home. Oh, she's got issues. Look, it's just... So, I had a friend in middle school. She was, like, infuriatingly perfect. Top of the class, captain of the soccer team. And one day, we're all on this field trip. And boom. She disappears. Gone. Oh. We then... I just know she'd have felt better if she knew there was someone ready to listen. Oh, my days. I'm not interested. Look, I know you're just trying to help, but this really isn't... Sure, I get it. You can take it for later, maybe? Save a tree. Give it to someone who cares. All right, maybe another time. It's so weird. I, I don't understand that. Like, I understand wanting to help somebody, right? But trying to indoctrinate them. Like, bro, yeah, they, if you want to be a friend to someone, be a friend to someone. Don't indoctrinate them, you know what I mean? Just, like, be it on a fucking person-to-person -person basis. So, was that real? Or is it just her seeing it? Maybe that's... That's the problem. 14 years earlier. Okay, I got a bus ticket for 2 p.m. I also called home and had a chat with Mima. What did she say? That I didn't give my dad enough of a chance, that he loves me more than I realize, blah, 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 and we both need to try harder. True. I don't know. Maybe she's right. 
What's in the bag? This? Just some food? For once you start the hike? It'll make the money last a little longer. <sighs> you didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do any of this. Anyway, I guess this is it. Kiss a goodbye, go on. Actually, no, that, that, I wouldn't do that. Thanks for your help. You've done so much for me. I don't even know how to say thank you. You don't have to say it. You did a lot for me, too. I, I should get going. And I should start reading Jane Eyre, because apparently I'll be back for the last week of school after all. <laughs> Good. Need a pass. Bye, Dean. Bye, Vanessa. Yeah, you don't want to drag other people down with you. This guy's not the type of guy that would do that, I don't think. Because it was forced. Like, if, if we had the choice to invite her to the place we were, Salt Lake City, I wouldn't have invited her, but the game didn't give us a choice. So that we've dealt with it the best we can. The border. 260 miles. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... You need to keep listening. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Holt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make... Shit. I'm glad she left. <sighs> Sorry you got pulled into all this. At least you're safe now. Lush place wherever he is. I love mountains. Oh, we are. There's game over here, like. Shit. There's no way out. Right, just keep your calm, mate. Chill out. Morning. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Mm -hmm. Were you there? No, I wasn't. Sir. I'm just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? Uh, truthful? Salt Lake City. I have family back there. Uh huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration. You'll be on your way. Can I be a problem? Check the glove box. Sure. Just a sec. I mean, even if there's something in there, is it? it's not going to be. Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Oh. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. It's gonna come up stolen. Shit, shit, shit. What again? Why well, can't you run it manually? Shit. Shit. Let's wait. This could be good. Look. I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. Huh. Get There's in. A sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right. Y2K technology. I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Dog Next shit. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. Uh -huh. Yeah, one thing I will say is like, 
back in the day, policing, there was a lot of um, discretion. But also, don't get me wrong, powers can be massively abused as well, which is obviously why things got a lot stricter. Um, but there was a lot of discretion as to whether a copper would let you go or not. And as you can see in this instance, it worked against them because they did not catch the criminal. But it, but now nowadays, if you get pulled over by a policeman or anything, like that, everything's recorded, everything is logged. You can't, there's no discretion. It's just by the book, which I do... I do agree with, to be honest. Shit, are we home free? Canada, baby. Look at the mountains. Look at the snow. What will he do, though? 14 years later. Missouri. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. Oh, we did it? So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Don't tell me. Lecture's coming out of your ears. <laughs> I get it. So, how about I drop by campus tomorrow for lunch? That might be... tricky. Just do it. Why? Everything's cool at school, right? Just do it. Mate, it's your dad. Do you know what the fuck he did for you? To be honest, Dad, I'm not sure the program's right for me. What are you saying? Are you dropping out? You've been wanting to study journalism since the ninth grade. No, just... Weighing my options, that's all. Zoe, your mom's gonna flip. I know, but listen. You should call her. And then we need to discuss this together. Will you walk her? <laughs> Zoe? Sorry. Uh, Dad, I gotta go. Yeah, she needs to start talking about this because she's obviously not coping very well. Don't speak. Don't make a sound. <laughs> Shit. Oh, anxiety tablets are not antidepressants. Where's the other bottle? So far from anxiety. <sighs> right, what can we do? Pill bottle. Am I just not seeing it? Bit of a weird photo. Do you see the photo there? What is that? Damn. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? Reminds me of heavy rain. <clears throat> when you're the girl in her apartment. Here, maybe? Alt. Look at that. Old butchers. Oh shit. <sighs> yeah, she's got issues. Tell me I'm awake this time. 
Oh. Come on. Think. It, Where did you put them? It's going to be re reliving this over and over and over again. Come on, you know where you put your pills. Deep breath, chill out. Who's there? I don't. I don't know if she's. I don't know if she's. I don't think she's a manager in it. Because. She doesn't hallucinate, does she? She she has bad dreams. Oh my god, the the wise thing would be to stay inside. But if it was me, I'd fucking check at me. It's not the don't ever do this. If there's something bad happening, don't ever don't ever go outside. But I want to see. I want to see if this is real or not. Hello. If this is a joke, it's not funny. Good. He's brave. Not the wisest, but brave. Shit, so she might be hallucinating. Hello? Hey, Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh. Uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in 10. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Oh. Hey there, Zussie, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, <laughs> someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Really? Oh, shit. It is real. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh, uh maybe I, I I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. <laughs> I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is <laughs> not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and uh, and I, I saw someone and uh, I, and then the next thing I know I'm arguing with with Shelby here that's not even my name <laughs> Zoe I know this is painful to hear but your grandfather is declining he needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home God or... damn it I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Insurance can cover it, wouldn't it? Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Uh. He pays for it. True, I suppose. You break, you buy. We tried our best. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. Oh, the, the dog's still alive. Bloody hell, it's ancient. <laughs> she sounds just like your parents with that crap. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my door because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Oh. Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. See, so wait, then I see this is the thing though. This guy still got his faculties. Fair enough, he might struggle to remember certain details. But there's a diff, there's, like I, I struggle remembering names and I struggle remembering like 
I call them insignificant details. You know what I mean? Things that I just don't care about, so I don't pay much attention to them. But there's things that I know that, like, like this guy knows he leaves the key under the mat. This, that, and the other. He knows he didn't break the fucking door down. There's something afoot here. I think it could be Jay, but I don't know why. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Yeah, there's a fucking creeper on the loose. I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you did back in high school when you thought you could cram for finals by staying up all night on triple lattes. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmares started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You seem to be doing so well. Did something happen? It is. Yeah. Better. Tell him. Oh. Seriously. Tell him. So, what else? Still got your sights on the New York Times? Actually, I'm thinking of leaving school for a while. I told mom and dad. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. I always thought it suited you, the investigative journalism thing. Digging around in other people's business, telling the world how it really is. I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computer -y thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that from my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. Right then, tablet. Where would you keep a tablet? TV stand. Grandpa, are you taking your meds? I don't like them. They make me fussy. Respect his wishes. Okay, it's your body. Yeah, I probably fell down the sofa. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> oh, Got it. There it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Okay. Now that it matters, all I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? It's just me here now. Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you All the time. ever misplaced or lost something? All the time. You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. You can't let it beat you. You fought cancer. You can fight this too. That wasn't the same. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? Worst. Yeah, it is terrible. Sounds awful. I can't even begin to. <sighs> you must think I made this whole damn mess up. I don't actually. Actually, someone's been following me too, I think. What? Earlier at the pool. And then tonight at my apartment, I... 
I thought I saw someone. But I don't know if it's even real. I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid. Seeing all the terrible, terrible things you saw. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously? You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Eggs fucking exactly. Either we're both losing our marbles or... Or what? No. It's impossible. <coughs> what? <coughs> oh, there's something up here like... There's the cunt. Get the grandpa to here, look. On, get him. Stop! Why are you following me? What do you want? Go on, get him. You need to get him. Come on, run. Wasn't even the same person. Maybe she is tapped. Maybe they're both tapped. Oh, sweetheart. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you, trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. Embrace it. That's all you can do. It's going to be there forever. Nothing's gonna change that. Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Oh shit, he's sending the letters? Why the fuck would he do that? Dear Zoe, this is now my third letter. I haven't heard back from you, so I hope you're getting them. I was thinking today about the last time I saw you. You were a little kid, clinging to your family. I was an 18 year old, clinging to the idea of freedom. Oh, so, oh, so he's not in Canada yet. Well, we know he... Oh, no, he might... might I be. remember your face when we took your dad away. It felt right to me, knowing you'd get clear of us. He, he could be sending the letters from jail. Well, we... In other ways, nothing that day felt right. I know my family scarred you for life. What's a bit weird though, I just have to say here yeah, lads, it's, I don't like the way they've done this. Because we know he can't die. This guy, by, by the letters, by her reading them letters, this guy's got plot armor. It should have waited.
Leave no mark. It's not wise. They left their mark on me too. I wonder every day who I could have been if we hadn't robbed that house. There's a lot I want to say to you, Zoe. Things to ask, things to explain. About how we came to be at the motel that night and what happened in the mountains a few days afterward. I'm sure you learned some of it as you got older, but there's other things I'm sure you don't know. Please write back, Zoe. I need to hear from you. Yours, Jay. Hey there, how's the hike? Who is this guy? You okay? Yeah, I'm I, good, mate. Uh, I was trying to work out where I am. Oh, well, let's see. This here is Jacob's Ridge. And that down there is Lake Blackfoot in the de facto Canadian border. Oh. And if you continue up that trail over there, you'll get to the top of Blackfoot Falls. Where's the border station? Further east, it's out of range for a day hike. You uh, got a campsite set up somewhere? Not yet. No, not yet. Well, where's your stuff? Backpack or... Uh... I don't... I was gonna build a shelter. Build one, huh? <laughs> well, I admire that, but... Uh... That's not exactly. Uh, you got a backcountry permit? Oh fuck! Sorry, but you're gonna have to head back down. Can I just stay a little longer? Enjoy the view. Hmm. Why don't I stay too? I was about to have some tea. Want some? Uh. No, thanks. So, what's your name? Fuck, this guy's asking too Michael? many questions. Michael. I'm Leland. You're, uh, a park ranger? Yep. Did stints in Zion, Rice <laughs> Canyon, Pinnacles. Hold this for me. Ever been to Yellowstone? Yeah, I spent nearly a decade there. There can be nothing in the world more beautiful than the Canyon of the Yellowstone. That was said by... Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. So, you're a nature lover too, huh? Yeah, I'm over history buff. Not really. I'm just into U.S. presidents. American history. So, you're in... Junior, senior year, right? Uh, yeah. But mostly, I just read a lot of books. Yeah. I didn't trust this guy. Mm. That's nice. You know, I've seen a lot of crazy things up here. Forest fires, avalanches. But I always wondered, is it really necessary that we carry these? What the? But we are border patrol. In the rare event some criminal makes a run for it, we need to be prepared. He fucking knows, Donny. Look, you seem like a nice kid, but we got a stolen car down at the trailhead. Oh, the state the PD says belongs to an 18-year-old who shot oh. up a motel in Arizona and was last seen headed north. Now, you got no water bottle, no headlamp, and you sure aren't dressed for camping without a tent. So, 
What's the deal here, Michael? You got me wrong. You got it all wrong. You've made a mistake, sir. Have I? Then show me your driver's license. Show me a credit card. How about hiking shoes? Hell, a sweater. Look, it's no kind of life running from the law. You'll be living with that shadow over you forever. Let me take you down the hill. I've never once fired this thing, and I sure don't want to start now. He's not going to do it. Fuck that. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, it's, I'm, I know it is. It's best to surrender. This guy's going nowhere on the run. His life's over with more than surrendering because the truth will come out. Will it? Because you're innocent until proven guilty. You'll be done for the robbery. He didn't kill anyone. And the father, Vince, will... Do you know what it is? The time has come. Gotta surrender. Fuck him. Done. You ever start down a road and know you're headed the wrong way? But you've gone too far to turn back. It's never too late for that. I'm just so tired of running from something I didn't even do. Exactly. I mean, I was there at the motel, but I was barely involved. And I, I definitely never killed anyone. But you know what? My life wasn't all that special. If they want to give me the death penalty, like they say, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just how this ends. Okay, look. Another mile from here, there's a sign that says no entry. You follow that path and there's a hill you can scramble down right across the border. Huh? Why? Maybe I'm gullible. But I got goosebumps just now when you were talking. If you were lying, you're a hell of an actor. And if you weren't, no way you deserve death. Go on now. You and me, we never saw each other. Thank you. Fuck. Wait there. So there's no choice. There's no choice. I tried to give myself up, which is the sensible thing to do, and... <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. Cause I'm not being funny. Life on the run is no life whatsoever. What can you even do? Your dad told me the news. I'm worried about you. Call me from a mom. You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. Canada. She's she's gonna go meet you. No way. But it might put her her anxiety and fears to rest. Whoa, easy. Roosevelt, what's got into you? Don't speak. Don't make a sound. Good, she come prepared. Because she doesn't know what to expect. My God. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but 
In my mind, you're still that scared little kid. He has changed. You look older too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise you won't need that pepper spray. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. I was doing pretty good at that. Until you started writing. <sighs> oh. I have a lot of questions. About your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Yeah, do you ever hear from Vanessa? What about that girl you ran away with? Vanessa? I look her up sometimes. She's been working behind the scenes on some TV show. She did well for herself. Good. Thought about writing her too. But I don't know. We said our goodbyes. Maybe it's right to leave it that way. It is. What about the family? I'm dying to find out what happened to them. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Hmm. Tyler left the country, I think. Don't know where. Ma's in prison in Arizona. <laughs> Her sentence could have been worse, but I guess she took a plea deal. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too. And that's it. And it's just me now. In all these years, you've never been recognized? Just one time. When I first crossed the border, there was this ranger. His kindness saved my life. Since then, no. But I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. That's a bit weird that though, wasn't it? Like, what happened with the black book and everything? Well, I suppose the guy got the black book. Oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? The cop got the black book and um, locked her up. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. Yeah, so what I was saying there is, um, but then again, would Vince not mention anything? Because Vince was asked by the copper to, about the black book and he knew it was there. Would, was he never investigated, or sorry, was he never interviewed by the FBI? I just don't understand. Prove this so, guy's innocence. Why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write, but you came in person. Why? I keep seeing your face and my dreams out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream 
and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Hmm. We are. We are. Maybe in some ways. Jay. Why? Why'd you start writing me? I told you. There's a lot I never got to talk about. I know. But why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later. You'd think I'd be able to move on. But I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you. I don't hate you. Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. Your family killed a lot of people. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that too. How can you be so forgiving? I don't do. I don't understand. We did. I, d I keep saying our oh, family killed a lot of people that night. We fucking didn't. Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That my family was just pushing me around. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's who I am? Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? Thing is though, I don't... I don't believe... I, I don't believe anyone's actually broken. I don't. You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait, I I was gonna make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay, I, I don't know. It's rabbit, and it's beautiful here at sunset. Yeah. Rabbit, huh? Ah, they're so good braised. Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> Bit of a weird one. Yeah, what I was gonna say there is um. I think people who went through traumatic experiences and stuff, I don't think that it's a permanent break. I don't. I don't. I think you can get over it. You know what I mean? When I when I said I don't believe people are broken. Don't get me wrong. I think people that are mental are broken. You know what I mean? There's something seriously wrong upstairs. But I mean, people like her and people like him, they these traumas they've been through, they they can overcome them. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't make them. It's it's just a. It's an inconvenience that they can they can fix they can fix it. You know what I mean? Well, they can fix it up so that it doesn't affect them. Because uh, you just gotta be strong enough. You know what I mean? You gotta get get help as well. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot, a lot of things you can get to make you see things in a different light, to make you look at things from a different perspective, and realize that it's it's insignificant in your future. The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you. Exactly. Toward the light. Exactly what I was fucking saying, pet. Words of wisdom. 
Why are some of us able to grow and change? Hey, Vince. Vince has got his own flying school, you fucking legend. She's got a new family. Even when clouds have blocked out the sun. Why do some of us find ways to endure? Working on the oil rigs. While others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers. But I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, well, there's something I've never told anyone. What is it? That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Well, we know Everything that. Everything that came afterward, uh, does dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Huh? Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easy on yourself, okay? Tell him you okay. It's all in two up. What the fuck? Grandpa? What the hell? Okay, so that's the end of expansion. I can't wait. What's book three? So hold on, let me think. We heard him say. Fuck, I've already forgot. What did he say there? He just said, I've got it all. It's in two rock. Did he? Was Grandpa a bank robber as well? And that's why he wanted to, to avoid Turok. Because people there knew him. And we saw that. The janitor guy recognised his face. Kept talking to him and he didn't like it. So the stalker was real. But who could it be? Or maybe it's no one that we know or nobody that we've seen. Okay then, right, come on then. Book three, let's go. Values integrity and doing what's right, trusting. Believes in the good intentions of others and fast reflexes. Right. I don't know how much longer this game is. Bloody hell, it just seems to like... Sharon went to prison. Tyler became a fugitive. Michelle got engaged to Craig. Who the fuck's Craig? Who the fuck's Craig? Is Craig the guy she was cheating on me with? I forgot it's been so long ago since we saw that. Yeah, Vince. Vince is a legend. Mate, you can do better off without her. She was a cheating whore. You've got your own flying school, mate. You do you. He is still in Canada. So what else could he have done? Six different endings for Jay. Uh, could we not get locked up? I tried to get locked up and it didn't work. 
There's so many options. What's this? Visit a J in Canada. Learn Vanessa's fate. Sympathize with J. Share a meal with J. Ranger let J go. He would always let me go. I wonder what would have led to that. There's a choice here which led to that. Interesting. Look at all the choices. It's crazy. Enter the National Park. What would this have been? Absolutely insane. Walker survived the desert dam. Oh yeah, the different, different, we could have lost. But we know we couldn't have lost Zoe because she has to stay alive. But we could have possibly lost the parents. Zoe went to college. She has to go to college regardless. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, lads. Right, what we'll do is we'll call an episode there. When we come back, we have to find out who this killer is. And that's got to be the, the last chapter to close it down for her. Okay, lads. Oh, shit. Wait there. There's not. There's no next chapter. There's no next chapter. Fuck off. There's no next chapter. That's it. There's no next... Shut up. Bruh. Where the fuck's book three? Lads, this is dog shit, this. Oh my god, are they doing that? Are they doing that for for the next game? What's it called? What's the game called? As Dusk Falls. As Dusk Falls. Book 3. When? Yeah, there's only six chapters. Two books. Bruh. Well, that is a kick in the fucking balls that you can't end a game like that, man. So, okay. So, the entire next game is going to be the trees branching off that and we want to find out his history. And it'll probably cut back to the past and we get to see more of the grandpa in his childhood as well as cutting to the future. Okay, it's still pretty good. I'm a bit disappointed that we don't get full closure there, but I love the game. I thought the game was phenomenal. Um, and other than that, I've, I haven't got much to say. I don't know how different the stories could have turned out but if i'm honest the game is quite long i think i played it for about six hours and um, i don't think i want to do another playthrough to explore the different choices i just want that to be my playthrough and when as dusk falls 2 comes out we'll continue that and see if my choices continue on i hope they do um yeah great game i highly recommend you play it see you in the next playthrough lads